Now, I had a lot of fun with this, and I'm not a single action revolver guy whatsoever. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Ruger Blackhawk single action revolver in 30 carbine. Now guys, this uh, revolver is available in uh, 41 Remington Magnum, 357 Magnum and 45 uh, Colt. So I thought something a little bit different, you know, um, how many people have got a uh, revolver chambered in uh, 30 carbine? So, um, you know, something a little bit different. So I hope you enjoy obviously watching this review. So let's show you what it comes with. Uh, we've got the user manual here. There's a whole heap of promotional gear uh, from Ruger in general. And it's also presented in this really nice carry case as well. So I actually really like the way that the uh, pistol is presented. Now the overall weight of this is uh, 46 ounces or 1.3 kilos. Um, the overall length of it's about 13.38 inches or 34 centimeters. So uh, we'll just go ahead and show you here all clear. The barrel on this is seven and a half inches or 19 um, centimeters in length, uh, cold hammer forged steel. We've got a uh, six round uh, capacity uh, cylinder there. We've got the black checkered hand rubber grips and we've just got the adjustable um, sights there. Okay, so there's no uh, high vis or anything like that. It's pretty much just straight black uh, front uh, sight there and rear sights. The finish on this is the blued alloy steel finish. Obviously being single action, for those of you who don't know, in other words, you can't use it as a double action revolver. So you can't just pull the trigger like so and um, it'll go off. No, you have to manually pull back each time on that hammer and then pull the trigger from there. So it's a very clean, uh, crisp trigger. I find uh, it's come in at about um, two and a half or just over two pounds. Um, so, you know, very, very nice and light and, you know, I should be able to take some decent, accurate shots with this. So made in the USA, uh, obviously like all Ruger firearms, here in Australia, the approximate price at the time of doing this review is about $1,300. So, um, you know, but it's just a typical Ruger, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's uh, very uh, rugged and reliable like their logo or their uh, trademark is. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting this um, you know, through its paces on the range. So let's get out there now. I've got uh, a couple of different ammos. I'll show you what I'm using with it and we'll just see how the pistol performs in general. Okay, so anyone who's uh, shopped around for 30 carbine ammo will know that it's not the most uh, popular. So we've only got two different types here, guys. We've got the 110 grain full metal case from Magtech and we've got 110 grain jacketed soft points uh, from Federal. So we've got a target there at 10 meters. Let's just put some rounds uh, through the revolver and just see which one it prefers.
Okay, so looking at the target here at 10 meters, the um, MagTech was definitely a lot more consistent than um, the Federal. Unfortunately, we had a few flyers there, but yeah, the MagTech's the way to go. So loading is very simple. The rounds slip in easy enough. You just move the cylinder. And we're good to go. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the Ruger Blackhawk in 30 carbine. Now, I had a lot of fun with this, and I'm not a single action revolver guy whatsoever, but it was a lot of fun, and geez, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit different caliber-wise, uh, with a lot of knockdown, uh, this is certainly worth uh, taking a look at. Uh, positives of it, guys, just in general, look, it feels very nice to shoot. Obviously, you've got a a decent amount of weight in these you know to absorb that recoil so even though it packed a punch it still was very comfortable you know to shoot my hands though obviously like if we have a look here so you know as i'm holding on to it i've still got that bottom part of my finger that's pretty much yeah down the uh, base of the grip there so i found that a little bit sort of frustrating with it um, apart from that look it's uh it works perfectly what i found very interesting though was using that magtech ammo um, when i was extracting the empty shells i really had to push hard to get them out whereas the federals i didn't but the mag uh, tech was shooting a lot better than what the federals were so you know <laughs> go figure with that one but anyhow guys look a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed something a little bit different on the pistol side of things so we'll leave the review at that and we'll catch you on the next one